Hey, what's up everyone? This is Alan, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor of Simply Vegas. Today we'll be touring a completely remodeled home in the community of Anthem Country Club of Henderson, Nevada. Anthem Country Club is located in the south area of the Las Vegas Valley. The major crossroads are Anthem Parkway and Anthem Club Drive. Anthem Country Club is a guard-gated community with an HOA of $287 per month. There are few pockets in this community that will have additional HOA. There are no SIDS or LIDS. Anthem Country Club sits on 2,000 acres and will have 4,000 residents in approximately 1,700 homes. Anthem Country Club will be situated on a par 72, 7,373 yard championship golf course. Before we get started, please consider taking a moment to hit that like button, subscribe button, and bell notification button. Thank you so much. The property that we'll be touring today is 54 Brander Mill Drive. This home is currently priced at $2.2 million. It was built in 2002. It features 4,163 square feet of living space. It sits on an 11,326 square foot lot. It features five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, a three car garage, and a pool. I would like to give a special thank you to Wendy Charrington from Orange Realty Group for allowing me to do a home tour on her listing. This home sits on an end lot in the cul-de-sac. One of the many great things about this home is the curb appeal. There's a combination of artificial turf, rocks, a few plants, and you have this beautiful stacked stone on the facade of this home. At the front of this home is a wrought iron gate as well as two lamp lights. As we step into the courtyard, there's this beautiful water feature with bubblers as well as an overflow. Behind this door is your one bay garage. The floors of the one bay garage have been epoxied. There are also plantation shutters on the windows. There's a very charming feel regarding the exterior of this home. On the side of this home is a large artificial turf area. This home features 10-foot ceilings on the first floor and 9-foot ceilings on the second floor. Located in the foyer are wood beams and a chandelier. This home will feature 6-inch baseboards. The flooring on the first floor will be predominantly this hardwood flooring. These hardwood floors are placed in a herringbone pattern. This home will also feature rounded drywall corners and a medium knockdown drywall texture. The first room that we see here is the office. The office is enclosed off with this frameless glass enclosure. This glass enclosure is a 3 inch tempered glass.
there's a built-in bookshelf on the left-hand side. One of the great features about this office are the high ceilings. I believe these are 14-foot ceilings. You have four LED lights, two built-in speakers, and a chandelier. On this wall in the office is a linear electric fireplace. To the left of the entryway is the formal dining room. The dining room measures 12 by 14. On the ceiling of the dining room is a chandelier, wood beams, and two built-in speakers. On this wall in the dining room are wine racks and three wall sconces. Across from this dining room is this small door. Don't worry, these are not the standard door heights. These are the door handles for this home, which are in a matte black. Behind this door is actually a coat closet. You can also use this space for storage. Or if you're tight on money, you can use this as an Airbnb room. Here we have the powder room. All the doors are 8 foot interior doors. In the powder room, we have floating flat panel cabinets, under cabinet LED lights, a dual flush single piece toilet, an integrated sink, a decorative vanity mirror, two wall sconces, a full height backsplash in a herringbone pattern, and a wall mounted faucet. Now for the main living area, which has your kitchen, breakfast nook, and great room. Starting with the great room, the great room measures 15 by 20. In the great room, we have wood beams on the ceiling, 8 LED lights, 2 built-in speakers, a ceiling fan, as well as a linear electric fireplace with 2 wall sconces. The next space is the kitchen. The wood beams carry over from the great room to the kitchen. In the kitchen, there are 9 LED lights and a large kitchen island with waterfall legs. The countertop is a quartz countertop. There's also a kitchen island skin. I like the open glass doors that they use for this cabinetry. I have these subtle ambient LED lights. The appliances in this kitchen are cafe appliances. The refrigerator is a cafe 40 inch side by side built in refrigerator. The 
cabinets used in this home are luxury European white oak cabinets. These are flat panel cabinets with matte black poles. They have also added upper cabinets as well as a flat panel crown. This kitchen will also feature under cabinet LED lights as well as a full height backsplash. Another LED light was added below the cabinets. We have a Lazy Susan here. All the cabinets and drawers are soft clothes. This is a 48 inch professional hood. What we see here is a cafe 48 inch gas 6 burner convection range with a griddle. It has double ovens below. I love the rose gold on the handles, as well as the knobs. The finish for this range is also in a matte white. If you're enjoying the video so far, please give me a thumbs up and hit that like button. Feel free to also share this video with any of your friends or family. The kitchen faucet is this large spring faucet in a matte black. Here's a pot filler as well. Here we have a cafe 24 inch double drawer dishwasher. Also located on the kitchen island is this cafe microwave oven drawer. The next space here is the breakfast nook. There are windows on all sides of the breakfast nook. From here, you can overlook your backyard. Located behind the kitchen is a dry bar. This dry bar features floating cabinets with LED lights below. There is also a built-in wine fridge. Behind this door is the walk-in pantry with custom shelving. One of the unique things about this home is that there are two stair rails to the second floor. This is one of them. Before we head upstairs, let's take a look outside. This is a new sliding stacking door. As we step outside, we step into the carpet patio. Located under the covered patio are two farmhouse wagon wheel chandeliers. At the end of this covered patio is also a built-in barbecue island. This is a built-in Burrow King barbecue.
Now for the backyard. Located in the backyard is a pool with Pebble Tech. This pool also has five water features. If you look closely above the water features, all of these will have a fire feature above the water features. There's a lot of artificial turf in the backyard, so that's very low maintenance. Here's the pool equipment. There's a fence partially covering it as well. Here are the two AC units for this home. And there's an access door to the garage. There's a large shaded area here with two trees. The back wall is a few fence and there are no neighbors immediately behind this home. From here, you have partial views of the Anthem Country Club golf course as well as the mountains. Located in this hallway are one of your thermostats. Also located on the first floor is bedroom 2. Bedroom 2 measures 12 by 12 and will feature a ceiling fan with a light kit. There are also 4 LED lights in this room. Here we have a reaching closet. Bedroom 2 has its own ensuite bathroom which is bathroom 2. Bathroom 2 has floating cabinets, quartz ground tops, a rectangular undermount sink, a wall-mounted faucet, and a decorative vanity mirror. The shower for bathroom 2 is a tub shower with a full height tile surround and a partial frameless glass enclosure. The plumbing fixtures are all on a matte black and there's a soap niche on this opposite wall. Near bedroom 2 is the laundry room. In the laundry room, we have a front-loading GE washer and dryer. There are upper cabinets on both sides, base cabinets, and a laundry sink. The laundry faucet is a matte black pull-out faucet. Behind this door is the two-bay garage. In the two-bay garage is your main water shutoff. You have two tanked water heaters. And this is the access door that we saw earlier. On this corner of the garage is a water softener and the equipment that you see here is for the water feature in the courtyard. That water feature has its own filter as well as its own motor.
Let's head up the stairs near the entryway. Near the entryway, we have these double height ceilings. Here's a farmhouse two tier wheel wagon chandelier. These stairs feature a few landing spaces. Now this room is very cool. This is called the media room or theater room. The media room has these large vertical windows with plantation shutters. There's also wainscoting on the wall. On this wall are built encampments as well as a projector screen. On the opposite wall are built-in speakers, your projector, and three wall sconces. The door to the middle room has a tinted glass. The first room that we see here is the primary bedroom suite. The primary bedroom suite measures 15 by 18. In the primary bedroom suite, we have a ceiling fan with a light kit, four LED lights, and two built-in speakers. There's also a linear electric fireplace. Above the fireplace are electrical outlets to mount a flat screen TV. On this wall in the primary bedroom suite is an accent wall. There are two pendant lights. In the primary bedroom, there's a sliding glass door that leads to your balcony. The balcony here is quite spacious, you can definitely fit a table and a few chairs here. You also have lovely views of the mountains. These are the slow mountains that we see. Next is the primary bathroom. This is the water closet in the primary bathroom. The primary bathroom has this large spa shower with a freestanding tub as well as a chandelier above it. There's also an electric fireplace near the freestanding tub. The flooring for the shower are hexagon tiles. The spa shower has a full height tile surround. There's a large soap niche. There are two handheld showers, one for the tub and one for the shower. The shower head is a rain shower head. There is a door here with a famous glass enclosure. Or you can step out where the freestanding tub is. The primary bathroom will also feature a backlit LED mirror, a full height tile backsplash, wall mounted faucets, integrated sinks, and floating cabinets with LED lights below.
This is the walk-in closet with custom closets. There's also a chandelier above and access to your attic. Most of the areas on the second floor will have carpet flooring. The space that we see here is the loft. There are four LED lights in the loft. These are the stairs that we saw earlier near the dry bar. From here we can see the breakfast nook which we saw earlier. The loft has a large window that overlooks your backyard as well as the mountains. Down this hall is the second thermostat for this home. On the right is bedroom 3. Bedroom 3 measures 12 by 14 and has 4 LED lights, a ceiling fan, and a light kit. Bedroom 3 has a reaching closet. All the bedrooms have an ensuite bathroom. This is bathroom 4, which has a sliding barn door. The glass for this barn door has been frosted. Bathroom 3 will just feature one undermount sink, a wall mounted faucet, two wall sconces, a vanity mirror, a full height accent wall, as well as folding cabinets and under cabinet LED lights. The toilet is a single piece dual flush toilet. Bathroom 3 features a walk in shower with a full height tile surround, a rain like shower head, and a handheld shower. There's also a seat here and a soap niche. The flooring for the shower are hexagon tiles. Across from bedroom 3 is bedroom 4. Bedroom 4 also measures 12 by 14 and has 4 LED lights, a ceiling fan with a light kit, and a reaching closet. There's a window in bedroom 4 that overlooks the courtyard as well as the cul sac. This is bathroom 4, which is an ensuite bathroom to bedroom 4. It has similar features as the other secondary bathrooms. Bathroom 4 has a shower. The shower has a linear drain. Lastly, we have bedroom 5. Bedroom 5 measures 12 by 15 as 4 LED lights, a ceiling fan with a light kit, and windows on all sides. Here's a large window that overlooks the cul-de-sac and the front of your home. On this wall are built-in cabinets. Bedroom 5's ensuite bathroom is bathroom 5. This vanity mirror also has the backlit LED light. You just need to hit the button. This concludes my home tour of a beautifully remodeled home in the community of Anthem Country Club of Henderson, Nevada. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you have any questions or like my real estate assistance when buying or selling a home in Las Vegas or Henderson, 
please give me a call, text, or email. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the very end, and I'll see you in the next video.